doing today everybody this is Michael out in Maui Aloha so today I wanted to talk about the speed of your shoulders to throw the disc to throw the disc your speed comes from how fast you can rotate your shoulders you know from the reach back right here when you pull the arm into the pocket so from here to the release of the disc is the speed that's your throw so the throw is how fast can I rotate my shoulders from here to the release of the disc just that movement right there from here to here the shoulder rotation to build up the speed of your shoulder rotation takes practice <laughs> when you're trying to learn to throw as hard as you can a lot of times when you're a beginner when you're learning you're throwing too straight up you're standing straight up and you're trying to throw the disc as hard as you can so you're up here and then you'll open your shoulders because that's you know you're pulling your shoulders to throw the disc and they'll open and you you know you're gonna pull the disc to the right and this happens because you're standing too straight on the throw the idea of throwing as hard as you can is correct you know when you when you run and you release the disc you ever notice it goes really nice. I mean, it'll fly really good, but it's going to the right. <laughs> but it's actually a really good throw. So what you have to do to learn to throw farther is you need to learn how to throw bent over. Bending over is the only way to throw as hard as you can without grip locking it and throwing it to the right. So I recommend as you're learning, I would just bend over when you throw. So you're more here on your throw and throw as hard as you can, you know, turning your shoulders. You're going to throw the disc, you know, on the hyzer probably, you know, a lot, you know, cause you're bent over, you're gonna release the disc more on a hyzer. But that's okay, because as you're learning how to rotate your shoulders faster, you know, so you're bent over and your, your premise is just to learn how to rotate your shoulders faster. I mean, that's really all you're kind of trying to learn. Accuracy, you know, you might lose accuracy, but that's not what you're practicing. You know, you're trying to just learn how to throw harder. So when you're throwing, bend over, now, rotate your shoulders as fast as you can to throw the disc. The faster you can rotate the shoulders, you know, the harder you're going to throw it. So after doing that for a while and you get used to being bent over, because what you're trying to learn is how to control, you know, the back angle. You know, you need to learn how to put your body on an angle and then keep it there that's what you're trying to learn you know you can't be sporadic you don't want to be like really bent over you know not as much bent over you know straight you know bent over so you you know what you're trying to learn is just how to control your back for the throw you're trying to throw so when you walk up to throw you want to have your disc in your hand and then when you follow through you want to have a bend in your back and you want to throw as hard as you can by rotating your shoulders so when you're throwing you know I just recommend you know that bend that you need and then as you get 
used to being bent over, you know, so you're throwing everything bent over, all your discs are flying on a hyzer, but you're getting used to being bent over. You know, you don't grip lock it anymore. You know, you're not throwing a grip lock. You've learned how to stay bent over. So now, start by throwing straight, but softer. You know, don't try to crank a straight shot long distance yet. You know, start by just throwing it nice and easy because now you're going to have to try to start to learn how to come up higher but still be bent over on your straight throw, you know? So as you're, once you've got used to using your back, now when you start dial in how to throw straight, you know, you need to be able to not be straight up and down. You know, you gotta be bent over just a little bit. But now you'll hold your body here because you're used to, you know, maneuvering your upper body to make the throw. So now that you're used to that, just start by throwing softer. So you're higher, little bit of a bend, and just throw nice and easy until you get used to staying bent over and you stop standing straight up and throwing. And also when you're going to throw a straight shot, you know, when you're throwing your hyzer, you know how you're bent over and you're throwing the disc here, right? On a hyzer. Well, for a straight shot, you need to bring it up a little higher. You need to release your disc right under your chest. So you're changing the angle of the disc by standing up straighter, little bit of a bend, and the disc comes up higher on your chest also for throwing straight. Like you don't throw a straight shot from coming down here at your mid stomach. That's a hyzer. So for a straight shot, you need to come under, you know, the armpit. You gotta come from under here. You come up with the disc. And so I would start, you know, I just recommend throwing nice and easy. You know, bring the disc up higher on your setup. You're here, take your setup, hold the disc higher because you want to throw it straight. So the disc starts up here. So now when I turn, see my disc is already up on my chest. Now I'm bent over and my disc is higher and I'm gonna throw a nice straight flat shot. So I hope that helps describe on why it's so important to be bent over to make all your throws. You gotta be bent over. So anyways, this is uh, Michael from Maui. Aloha.